Okay, so I wanted to share this information with you. I just finished up this installation. It's on the Simplex monitoring the fire alarm and the trouble contact. Fire alarms on normally open. Trouble is on normally closed. And then supervisory comes off of this relay down here, that aux relay, this program for supervisory. It comes up to a star link communicator. So there's a pause and blink, 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 pause. So those blinks that tells you what your signal strength is, and six is a good signal strength. And uh, so, for your supervisory, it comes with these little dongles. There's a side that just have a red and black, and then the other side has a red and black, red and blue. The red and blue is wire netted together. The red and black is on the normally open and common. That's for supervisory. And then the red and black on the side by itself go to terminals 8 and terminals 9. So red goes to 9, 8 goes to black. Or excuse me, yeah, black is 8. And that'd be your ground. And for the fire and trouble, uh, on the side that's got the red and black, it lands on terminals 8 is the black, which is your ground, and then seven, that's your input number one. So the red and black go to normally open for the fire, and the red and blue go to normally closed, and common, and that's for the trouble. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that up in there or not, but going to common and normally closed and common normally open over there for my fire and the panels on all so I'm just waiting to hear back that they got signals now so that's how you install a Starlink communicator I'd recommend hooking up power to it first and putting it up on the wall and see what the signal is before you ever put a single screw into the wall and then run your wire so that's just a personal preference that way you don't end up putting it in a place where there's not enough signal so all right that's it please like